everybody, I'm Miss Kinsey with Lineball Public Library and today I'm bringing you our new virtual tween teen program. So I'm sure you've all heard before of how to make slime. Well today we're going to be making slime a little bit differently. So instead of using contact solution and glue, today we're going to be using baking soda and oddly enough, shampoo. So I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to find out together. So first I'm going to show you everything that you're going to need. So first you're going to need a bowl. I have this nice glass bowl here that I chose so that you guys can see what I'm doing. You're also going to need one cup, whether that's a measuring cup or whatever, you're going to need one cup. You're going to need one tablespoon. You're obviously going to need baking powder and shampoo or dish soap, but I'm using shampoo. You're going to need food color if you want to change the color of it. You're going to need something to stir the slime with. And last but not least, if you want to decorate your slime, you're going to need some fun glitter, which I have right here. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your baking soda and you're going to get one cup of it and put it into your bowl. So let's see if I can pour out one cup of baking soda. Okay, let's see, let's move it down just a little bit, all right, spilt just a little bit, but that's okay. So here's my one cup, and I'm going to put it in my bowl, all right, now next I'm going to take my tablespoon and do a tablespoon of shampoo. Make sure it all gets out here. Now my shampoo is clear colored. So I'm going to add a little food coloring to my mixture to make it colorful. So let's see. I think I want to do blue. So I'm gonna add about four drops of food coloring to start. And now we mix. So as I'm mixing, I'm seeing that I'm probably going to need a little bit more shampoo to make the mixture right. The baking soda is still very floury, but I do see that it's starting to clump together, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my shampoo and I'm going to add a little bit more not worry about the measurement. I'm just going to kind of freehand it at this point. Put a good bit of shampoo in there. And at this point, I'm also going to add in a little bit of glitter to give it a sparkle. All right. Wow. Let's mix it again. Ah, yes, it's starting to starting to kind of form up here. Oh yeah. So how I'm stirring it is I'm kind of folding it into each other so that it kind of gets compacted because if you stir it all around then you're not going to get the effect of the slime. So I think just a little bit more shampoo here. Again, this recipe is not exact. You can kind of use it however you want. Um, that's just what they suggest to start with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clump all of my slime over here into a little ball. And I'm gonna add shampoo to that little ball and then I'm gonna fold it in. Okay, 
it's getting really sticky. So, so yeah. I've never done this before, guys, so I don't really know how it's gonna turn out. But it at least looks kind of fun to play with. It's starting to turn into a slime-like mixture here. I'm making a little bit of mess. So just a quick sign up, I did put paper towels down over my surface to protect the surface. I would suggest you do that because the stirring is getting a little bit messy. But I am starting to see some slime form here. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to kind of form here. More I just kind of fold it into each other. I think one more little bit of shampoo will just about do it. It's really starting to come together. Whoops. So obviously this is gonna take a little bit of time. So when you do it, I would allow yourself a good, probably 30 minutes to really make sure your slime is cooked well. It kind of reminds me of Play-Doh. I feel like that's kind of what I'm making. Or like cookie dough. Okay. So now I'm going to take a little spoon I have here and scrape off what's on this spoon to get it all mixed in. Make sure. Everything is good. Just gonna. Oh, yeah. This formed up really nicely, you guys. So now, once again, just kind of scrape off my spoons here. So now I will show you guys what I've got here by just kind of pick it up in my hands and kind of knead it together. Again, it's going to get a little messy, but it's really cool. Okay. So I have just made out of baking soda and shampoo, I have made blue and sparkly slime. Is really cool. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to pull apart here. It smells really good too. Wow. 
Wow. So if you want to, at this point, you can go ahead and add just a little bit more shampoo. But if you're happy with it the way it is, then there you go. That's your slime. So I encourage you to try it again and see if you can make it even better. And if you guys make some slime, drop it in the comments. I would love to see it. So, okay. Well, that's it for today's program. I'm sorry it was kind of short, but I do hope you all enjoyed making the slime. And have fun. Thanks, guys. Thank you.